What's going on guys, the time has finally come. We are putting up my 2020 R1 against my 2020 S1000. I've had these bikes for a few years, bought the S1000 almost three years ago now uh, when it first came out, but the 2020 R1 when it first came out, so I've had this one almost two years now. And uh, my buddy Dustin over here, who rides a 2009 R1, you guys have seen him, him in a few videos, he is gonna be piloting the 2020 R1. Have you ridden it yet? No. He has not ridden my R1, he's never ridden a leader bike in his life. He just owns an R1. No, he's. He hasn't ridden my R1 before, uh, but he's really excited to do so. He's gonna be riding that one since he's a little bit fam more familiar with it. I'm gonna be riding my S1000 primarily because uh, I'm selling this tomorrow, so I wanna make sure that it doesn't crash. <laughs> And I don't trust Dustin not to crash. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dustin's a really good rider. So he, uh, he's he got the rider advantage. I've got the bike advantage, at least I think. So if you're not familiar with the channel, we've got a lot of stuff on these. They're both basically fully performance modded. The, uh, the R1 over here has the Bren tuning ECU flash on it. It's got an SC Project full exhaust. It's got, I think I'm, I wanna say I'm stuck I want to say I'm stock gearing on this. Am I stock gearing? No, I'm not. Two up in the back. Okay, yeah, because I remember I wanted to do the same thing on the R6. So this one's two up in the rear, and uh, the S1000 is stock gearing, but it has the Stage 2 Bren tuning flash on there with the IAT relocation. It's got the Austin Racing GP exhaust. All the uh, parts and stuff will be listed down in the description and linked so you guys can check them out if you've got, th got these bikes. If you wanna check them out for your bike. Just from the butt dyno, I think the S1000 is going to easily win. What do you got, 20, 20 pounds on me maybe? Yeah. I'm two, 205, you're? 30 pounds. 30 pounds, okay, I don't know, we're gonna find out. So I'll see you guys out on the road and uh, we'll throw it down. Start up baby, bike number two. No hands. Yeah, that bike's not as smooth. It's a little bit harder to do on that one. BMW, no problem. Downshifting in butter. All right, we're gonna go pick up some gas. So we got some full tanks of fresh fuel in here. All right, find ourselves a pump. All righty. Get ourselves some gas. Let's see if I can do this without taking my gloves off because I really don't want to. 450 most expensive fun that I've ever had to have on leader bikes. There you go. There we go. Topped off. Full fun to be had. Look at that. $21 for two bikes of fun. So much money. Woo. There we go. All right, here we go. You ready? Be careful, I don't want you dying. And also, I gotta take it easy on this thing because the new owner is getting it tomorrow morning. You're gonna be showing me up because I'm gonna be too cautious on this thing. I'm trying to remember if I've raced these against each other. I don't think that I have. I've ridden them together because when I first got the R1, I rode it with Fry, ridden my R1 against his R1. No, this will be the first race and they're stupid fast. Check our surroundings. We are clean, boys. All right, let's just do a, a third gear test from 80. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Cannoli. I'm in second gear. One, two, three, go! When we launch, I'm not full throttle. Are you pinned when we launch? 
that, that bike sounds good. This freaking bike gets so light. You think you can push out a little bit more on the start? Yeah, I feel like I can too. Regardless, both of these bikes are so fast. I'm actually surprised that the R1 is hanging so well with this. So Justin is saying that from 120 to 160, the S1000 is faster, but after we hit 160, they kind of stay the same distance from each other. Looks mighty good. I never get to see my bikes third person because I'm always riding them, but dang. Feels pretty solid. One, two, three, go! You take the jump, you take the jump. Whatever you ready, yeah. Chinese fire drill. All right, be careful, don't crash it. We'll take it easy. We won't do anything crazy. Oh, there's something about the sound of the R1, man. Oh, it sounds so good. Okay. Yeah, just get, just get a feel for it. Like it? It's oh, so comfortable? Yeah, it's got a real nice shape to it. All right, let's just do a little third gear one. Ready? One, two, three, go! This still feels really fast up to, in, again, that 100 to 120. 120 to 160, that thing's just got juice for days. All right, I'm in second. Ready? One, two, three, go! Go fuck, go fuck. Man, that's a freaking good looking bike though. Love those headlights. In front of that bike is just, uh Oh, that could do 200 for sure. One, two, three, go! Oh man, all right, let's exit. Whew. Oh man, that was fun. God, I love the sound. Might be my favorite sounding sounding super sport with this latest flash on here that I have this this is so smooth all right we're back the results were exactly as I suspected for the most part but still really good races I was actually kind of surprised how well the R1 was hanging with the uh, with the s1000 we weren't planning on swapping bikes but I went ahead and let Dustin switch on to the s1000 since he hasn't ridden it before and I wanted to give him a chance before uh, it goes to the new owner but what'd you think man it was a, a great experience first off <laughs> both these bikes are phenomenal you can't be wrong with either one they give you two different types of experiences. I feel like the R1 has more punch. So to me, adjusting to that extra punch, right when you start rolling into it, compared to my R1, it's so much lighter and responsive and there's a learning curve there to get a good feeling for it. Where the BMW is like deceiving, it starts to kick in, but then it pulls like a freak, it's like, just goes and uh, it, there's like a, a sweet point with it. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like the S1000 like winds up like the power, mm -hmm. that, like the faster you go, it feels like the more power it gets. Yeah, and now that you mention it, 
like being able to swap right right away back and forth the r1 definitely feels like it has and that's something that i don't feel that, that it had before i did the flash it feels like it really woke up at lower um rpms which is where you are when you first doing a doing a launch if you're racing these bikes on a racing these bikes on a track coming out of the corner the r1's gonna have more coming out but then once the straightaway starts rolling in the s1000 will start reeling it in yeah you were saying you really really like the tank the, yeah. the shaping of the tank on Cause, this yeah because you feel like you're more in it and it's it's very comfortable street wise the, the r1 feels like a bit more of a fun bike on the street um but the s1000 is definitely like the more comfortable smooth you know super sport cruiser if you will from a comfort standpoint and the shaping of everything i feel like this is just a bit more comfortable of a bike just to cruise on but yeah that's about it a lot of fun if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not subbed to the channel already this is my man dustin you guys can find him on instagram and tiktok i'll have that down in the description otherwise you guys have been awesome i've been motorosity remember life's better with horsepower keep life live i'll see you guys in the next one